Hello everybody. Okay, so this is my video vlog, vlog I guess they call it, um, about my vegan journey. Um, so for those of you who do not know, I have a goal that by the end of the year I would like to be completely vegan. So of course I'm doing it in stages of eliminating things, eliminating meat and different parts of meat or you know stuff like that. And so a couple of things that I've done, um, the first three months I was working on that 80-10-10 diet because that was something that they brought up as part of my nutrition school that I'm in. Um, and so I did that, which was supposed to be primarily fruits. Um, I just was not possible for me to actually stick to it. So um, I'm going back to like vegetables and things. And um, So I have a couple of different friends who are vegan and a couple of friends that work who are vegetarian and vegan and then something in between so we discuss it like every week um, discuss our our journey um, you know in the process so this past what this today is Wednesday so I guess it was Monday um, well actually let's start back with Sunday on Sunday when I went to the store for my weekly grocery shopping which really when I say weekly but I go to the grocery store at least three times a week because you cannot buy fruits and vegetables and s s buy it in bulk. You have to buy it, eat it, go back and buy some more because it goes bad. Um, that's the thing, when you're eating fresh food, it doesn't last as long, but it doesn't have all the preservatives, so I guess that part is good. So one of my coworkers um, is vegan and she cooks everything. She cooks all her food and, and I think she said for the past like three to four weeks, this is what she's been doing. So she has all these vegan recipes and she makes things like vegan cheese and um, she told me about um, vegan mayonnaise and then I saw an advertisement on TV for some vegan mayonnaise. So I went to the store and purchased vegan mayonnaise. Yes, you see, Hellman's vegan mayonnaise. Okay, so I went, purchased it. Um, it cost me like $3.99, so you know that was $4. And those who know me know I don't like spending money unnecessarily so here it is I actually tried this vegan mayonnaise and I gave it a good try I bought it on Sunday what did I try it with I had some carrots so it's like okay let me take some carrots and dip it in there and see if that would help I even had some potato chips um, tried that and, and you know I was like okay I'm not really a fan of this vegan mayonnaise but I bought it I should try it you know eat it or something so then I started looking at the ingredients the ingredients on the back here and I looked at the fat now, of course, I'm in school for nutrition. And it says like 10 fat, 10 grams, carbohydrates, less than one gram, protein, zero gram. This is 100% fat. So I said, okay, let's look at the ingredients. Soybean oil, which really I have an allergy to soy, so I really should be eating soy at all. Water, sugar, distilled vinegar, salt, contains 2% or less of each of the following. Modified food starch, corn, potato, lemon juice, concentrate, natural flavor, calcium, disodium, EDTA. EDTA is an anticoagulant that we used in the laboratory to keep blood from clotting and to make it last longer so that we can do testing on it. And EDTA is also poisonous in the wrong you know, amounts and stuff. And so I'm like, EDTA, goodness gracious. And I've seen EDTA in a lot of food sources. I don't know how much is in there, but as a laboratorian, I know it's not something I really want to eat. You know, I don't want to eat EDTA. Uh, <laughs> so, ethylene triethylacetamide, I can't say the whole thing, but anyway, it's an anticoagulant. Um, and it's used in our blood samples. So, um, that means I'm no longer going to finish this. So, I'm going to take this to work and see if I can give it to my coworker since she does use vegan products like this vegan mayonnaise and she makes vegan cheese and I don't even know exactly what the vegan cheese is made from um, but I know she has made it and she brings all the stuff up to work but you know I, I just I don't get into all the details because really I don't cook much anyway um, so then my other thing was okay I love cheese that's one of those things that I'm like how am I gonna give up cheese you know I don't like really steak and that kind of meat it doesn't taste good to me so it's very easy for me not to eat it. I love fish. That's a whole other subject. I'll get back to that later in the year. So, 
So right now, like, I need to let go of dairy. Letting go of dairy would be means I would give up chocolate, you know, and I like chocolate. Uh, I don't like it as much as I like potato chips and salt, but I like chocolate. So I thought about it. I said, okay, if I were in the wild and I wanted some cheese, how would I get the cheese? Hmm. So I would actually have to approach a cow, and then I have to know how to make cheese from the cow. All I know about cows is I can milk the cow to get milk from the cow. I don't even know enough about the cheese making process to really know how to make cheese. In the wild, I could have a couple of ways to get the milk from the cow. I can take my little hands and do the whole little milking kind of thing, or I actually would have to like take it and do like a, a baby does on your mom's nipple. That is something I would never do. And so, <laughs> yesterday, I was driving back from getting my hair done, and I like to go by Moe's because Moe's is over there by where I get my hair done and get some queso. Love the cheese. Get me some queso and some corn chips and eat the queso and the corn chips. That's what I wanted to do. And I said to myself, mm, okay, if I really want this cheese, am I willing to go through the nasty process of making cheese? Finding out how to make it, going to a cow, milking a cow, Ooh, not willing to do that. And it prevented me from getting the cheese. So it worked yesterday, it worked today because I didn't go get anything, I didn't eat anything with cheese in it today. Um, so that's two days. I don't know how many more days it'll work, but right now the thought is keeping me away from cheese. So that's that. And then look at my hair, boy, I tell you, just a side note, my hair. It has a mind of its own. It won't stay down the way I need for it to stay down. So, anyway, I just wanted to, like, say that. So, I told one of my coworkers about it, about my thought of getting the cheese and what you have to go through. And she's like, well, she doesn't really like cheese. It's okay, but she's eating some eggs. So, <laughs> we all have our own thing and what we have a, our struggles with. So, this is just my little journey, and hopefully a year from now, or actually nine months from now, I will look at these videos and see some progress and um, be closer to where I want to be. All right, that's it. Bye.